Welcome. My name is George Pearson and I run the How To Gurus channel here on YouTube. Most of the videos on my channel are short demonstrations of the different tools and techniques that you'll find in different software programs. Right now I have several hundred of these quick videos available on YouTube. This video though is different. This is one in a series of longer project demonstrations that I'm doing that show you how to complete complex projects from start to finish such as changing this background or adding in these swirls or changing hair color. All the images I use in these are public domain and you'll find a link to the pictures in the description. Okay, let's go ahead and move into the project. In this Photoshop project we're going to make a pencil sketch style image out of a full color portrait. So here's the original portrait and here's the pencil effect. Now this is real easy to do not that many steps on this. You can take it a little bit further if you want to by putting in some filters and so forth for some creative texturing. But the basic effect is pretty straightforward and pretty easy. I'm going to show you how that's done. Let's go over here. I'll just get that out of the way. So here's a basic file. Now this is a public domain image that I found online and I've included a link for this image in the materials section. If you want to go ahead download the image so that you can then follow along with this tutorial exactly. So we need to do just a few things. The first thing I want to do is to make a copy of this layer. And I didn't quite catch it. There we go. Layer copy and then hide that background. I always do that. I always give myself a new copy to work on whenever I'm doing any kind of file. That just protects that particular file. I need a second copy now of this. Same thing. Let's drag it down onto that new layer button. Second copy. So I have my original which is hidden and my background, my new background here and then my new layer. On this one, let's invert this image make it a color negative. Go up here to image and adjustments and then right down here invert. It's now a color negative. Okay we're going to now use some layer effect on this. We'll come down and use the color dodge layer effect right there. What that does is it dodges out the colors in here from there since it's a negative what we end up with is a perfectly white piece of paper. That's just fine. We're now going to fuzz this out a little bit and that will then bring back values from the original image. Do that with a filter. Go up to filter, come down to blur and then Gaussian blur. There we go. Now you can choose any setting you want. Notice you know, very very low setting kind of like that. If we go real high it it looks kind of like a, a painting almost. So find a setting in here that has just the amount of pencil drawing effect that you want. A little bit of shading I think. Something in here is pretty good for this particular one. It's, it's a, a judgment call on this how much blur you want to have on that to give the effect that you want. This kind of looks like a, a colored pencil sketch. Choose OK. There we go. So, so far so good. Now we want to get rid of the color and want to punch up our blacks a little bit. So we'll do the color first. And we'll do that by using an adjustment layer. Go up here to your layers control, new adjustment layer, and hue saturation. There we go. The reason why I'm using an adjustment layer is that I can then come back in and change my settings if I want to in the future. I also have a mask in here. I could work with the mask and control where this is being placed and where it isn't if I needed to do that. Right now all we care about is this center section here where it says saturation. I'll just pull this control clear to the left. That removes all of the color from the image. And we're just about there. We can go a little bit further by punching up our blacks in here, make it a little more striking. Let's do a new adjustment layer. So layer, new adjustment layer. And we want levels this time right here. Again, same reason for the adjustment layer. I can always come back then and readjust this in the future if I want to change my settings. So what we care about here is the blacks. Take the black side of this control here and pull this to the right and that's going to increase the amount of black. You can see that in there. 
what we're doing is we're setting the black point further into the picture. This is the values in the whole picture. Most of the picture is white. We have a few light grays in here and very little darks. So I'm pulling the black further into the darks. This would be like, like black here and then dark gray, less gray, less gray, kind of a medium gray in here and into all of our light tones. So I'm making these medium dark grays black and that gives me a bit more punch in the image. I can then take the gray value right here, mid-tone gray, and I can adjust that gray value as well. So just kind of, you know, work these back and forth a little bit until you're happy with the effect and choose OK. And there's your basic pencil sketch. And the last thing you may want to do is to add in some texturing into this, to give it more of a pencil effect. And we'll do that on the background image down here. So go up here to Filter and Filter Gallery. Give that a second to load up. And we're going to be choosing a texture for this once the Filter Gallery loads in. There's our Filter Gallery. And you can kind of see in here a little bit of a filtering effect. A little hard to see. Unfortunately, there's no real good preview on this thing to see how it's going to work with this because you have all these adjustment layers and stuff. I can't, I can't put the texture up here. It's not going to be showing. It has to be on the background. So all you really can do, if you want to see what this effect is, is to make some copies of your background. I'll pull a background there. And there's background three. So this background has no texture. Let me just rename this like that one. And let's just call this texture one. Texture one, there we go. Let's apply a texture to that one. Filter, filter gallery. Now in the texture, you have a lot of different options. We have brick, obviously no good. Burlap, not so good canvas and sandstone. All these add a texture. Sandstone actually works out pretty well for a paper, like a, a drawing paper kind of effect. You can control the scaling in here, how large or how small that effect is. Sketch paper can be a real smooth sketch paper or a fairly rough sketch paper. The, the rougher you go, the more interesting the effect is going to be on your final picture and you can adjust the amount of relief. You don't want too much on this, just a little bit. Choose OK. There we go. That's a bit much, obviously. There it is without that, and there it is with, and that, that, that texture didn't work out that well. So let's just grab another one here. We'll do a little less effect. Let's call this one Texture 2. This is the only problem with these textures, is that you you have to test it out this way. You can't just you know try it and see how it's going to look on your finished image because of the way that we built this particular image. Now I could of course flatten the image and then apply the texture to the flattened image. That would give me more back and forth controls. But it's it's not really as good. I can invert that. Let's bring our relief down a little bit. Bring it real, real subtle in here. and choose OK. That's better. We're still getting a lot of stuff in there I don't really want. I don't want to have it you know, really in the hair area, maybe on some of this. So we can apply a mask onto this and show through our background with that mask. So let's just give this a mask. There we go. Click on the little button right there. It brings a mask in. Now if it's white, it's showing the whole thing. So if it's black, it's going to hide, obviously enough. So we'll use our black tool, paintbrush. Let's find a paintbrush size that works out pretty well here. That's pretty good. Click on the mask, and I can then paint in. And you'll see over here, I'm actually painting onto the mask. And I'll just come in and paint out everything where I don't want that applied, which is pretty much the whole thing, except for maybe around this necklace in here. 
and of course in the hair I don't want it applied here. I'm going to leave a little bit of texture on the eyes. It will add a bit to the painterly effect or the, the drawing effect. Make sure the skin stays clean and clean the background up of course. And there you can see what's happening. I am painting out the areas I don't want to have the texture on and I'm leaving the areas where I do want to have some texture. And there we go. So we have some texture showing in the eyes here and up in the hair. We've, taken, we've gotten rid of it most every place. So I've left it a little bit in here on on the rings. If I zoom in, you can see that texturing effect in here. Maybe we can clean that up a little bit around in here. Same thing. Let's go back to our tool and clean that out. There we go. Just cleaning that out a little bit out of those areas. And leaving it on the eyes gives it more of a sketched appearance. And leaving it in the hair gives the hair more of a, a drawn or a sketched appearance. Okay, so there we go. Let's just adjust our view here to fit on screen. And using some, a combination of a few tricky effects in here, you can make a real nice pencil sketch out of a portrait. I have a couple of questions about this particular technique I'm going to answer right now. The first one, this is a standard question. I get this one a lot. Let me just demonstrate this. I'm going to close all this stuff down. Let's go back to our original image. Here we go. And I'll copy this image, make a new copy of that. And let's invert this image. Adjustments, invert. Now, a lot of times you get people saying, you know, I've, I did everything you said, but I'm just getting this inverted image. I'm not getting that white picture. And the whole white image, that comes from the blending mode up here. It's very important to change your blending mode to color dodge. Now, different blending modes will do different things, even with this inversion. Here's a darken, for instance. Here's a multiply. It's a really interesting, really strange kind of effects. There's a color burn. There's a, a linear burn as you all black. There's light and kind of strange looking thing. Here's screening those two together. So you can get some really weird effects by doing a negative over a positive. But the one that we want is right here, color dodge. And that combines the two and gives us that pure white appearance. We're actually dodging the color from one out of the other. Since it's a negative, it gives us pure white. So that's where that comes from. If you're just seeing the negative in here, then you haven't remembered to change the blending mode to color dodge, and that will solve that particular effect. Okay, now another one is how do you add additional texture in here? Let's say I wanted to come in and put in some texture into the background. Let me just bring all those back in again. There we go. If I wanted to have it look as if this was drawn on a paper that had some texture to it. You can do that by putting a texture image on top of this and then blending that texture image into this image. I'll, I'll demonstrate that with a new layer here. There we go. Let me just pull that new layer up, put it up on top of everything. I want it in front. So there we go, new layer at the top. Let's fill this with a texture. Go over here to fill, choose pattern, and then from your pattern drop down, choose a texture you want to fill that with. Now, I'm going to demonstrate this with this burlap pattern. It's pretty rough, so it'll be real easy to see. So there's this burlap pattern in here. I'd recommend if you're actually doing this, choose a softer pattern look more like paper, some kind of parchment kind of a pattern, use that instead. But this will demonstrate the technique and you'll see how this is working. So put this on top of everything else. We then want to change our blending mode again here to blend this layer in with the layers underneath. So I'll change the blending mode 
and use one of these light ones down here. I'll choose hard light to blend that in and that gives me that effect of this being drawn onto a papered surface or onto a textured surface. To adjust the amount of texture simply bring the opacity down for that layer giving yourself just a little bit of texture left so you can still see your image through that texture. It doesn't take very much as you can see to go ahead and do that effect. So that's how you would add in a texture paper and it would look as if it was drawn. Just find a nice a nice textured effect or a textured picture even and put it above everything else. Go to a hard light or a vivid light. Just choose one of these lights in here, one that works out well for you. I kind of like hard light and then bring your opacity down until you're adjusting just a little bit of that texture to give you a textured papered surface. Okay, so let's hide that. Now the last one here is just a little additional trick. If we look at our saturation down here, this one is saturation. You see right there. Getting rid of the saturation gets rid of the color. But with the color in, it looks like a pencil sketch done in colored pencils. We can combine those effects for a very interesting look. I'm going to make a copy of this layer. Let's just make a new layer, pull it down to my new layer there. Let's just hide that back one. That's the black and white one. And we have our mask over here. All the adjustment layers have masks on them. And as we saw before, if you paint black onto your mask, actually paint black in here, and you have the mask selected. Here's the effect selected. There's the mask selected. Make sure your mask is selected and that they are linked together. And we paint black in here. It hides that adjustment layer effect on your image. So take our paintbrush, make sure we have black. Let's look at our, our brush size. I'll we'll bring the brush size down a bit. That's pretty good. And I'm just going to brush right over where the lips are and bring color back into just the lips. I'll do the same thing right around the eyes and bring color in for the eyes. There we go. And leave the color off every place else. So there's a, a partially colored image. And again, I was just painting into the mask, as you can see over there, so that the desaturation is being allowed to happen on the rest of the picture and we're blocking the desaturation out on those areas using that mask on the hue saturation adjustment layer. Okay, so there is how you can do a pencil sketch from a portrait. Thank you for watching this special Photoshop photography project video. Don't forget to subscribe so that you will get first notice of new project videos in the future. Just click on this link right here where it says subscribe here. You can get all 12 project videos in this series along with 26 special videos demonstrating the tools and techniques that I used in these projects by clicking on this link right down here. And then thank you again for watching this training video.